And when I talk to y'all about good structure, I mean, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about. This is that boy King Creed, man. This is what I mean by good structure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Creed. Show it to him. This is what I mean by good structure, man. Good back line, good, good feet, good feet going in the right direction, good legs in the right direction. Back legs have ang angulation. They don't have, they're not stiff. This is what I'm talking about on a structured bullet, man. This is what's called a standard American bullet. The standard and the classic bully are both the same measurements exactly. As far as height wise, all the classes go according to height. So over 21 inches is an XL. He is at 21 inches. So he is right on the board. He's big as XL, the biggest standard as you can get would be the smallest XL as you can get. But I was able to breed him to a 13 inch female, which is Black Widow. And that's how I got my, my dog Domino. But at this point, we got so far into the lineage that it's really getting hard for me. I'm not going to be able to breed him anymore. And I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, even though he was the, the best, when I bred him to Black Widow, that was one of my best letters because I got Domino out of that. I got Dolomite out of that. Uh, I forgot the one that went to uh, Muskogee. I forgot her name. I got her out of that. I got uh, Cream out of that. Man, I got uh, Giovanni that went to South Carolina out of that. So the breeding from Black Widow to, to King Creed here, which was the 13-inch bully to a 21-inch bully, that breeding produced my foundational bullies. And it's mainly because they both were structured. Even though they were mismatched on size, they both had great structure. Helicopter flying around checking on us, man. But Creed, I went to a dog show. I've never been to a dog show in my life, but uh, Eddie Brosco, Eddie Buckaloo, Eddie Brosco, Eddie Buckalo at Badass Bullet Killers, we went to, we went in together and went to a dog show. And he was about seven months old. And uh, I think it was the UBR, yeah. We went to that show. He's, he's registered in the ABKC. But they registered him on the spot on the UBR, and we entered the show. And he won first place. And that's when I really, really started looking at structure more and how important it was. And even though he didn't turn out to be the right size dog that I wanted, I knew he was a show dog because we just went and won the show. So something about him, and it was the structure, man. I mean, he got good looks too. He's got the right type of muzzle and face. There's dogs that look like him, have the same markings as him. But he's a lot more handsome, man. He's got a different look at head and everything. He's photogenic, as you can see. But he's the reason that I started really thinking that I could breed. I wish... Uh, like I said, I've gotten some good ones out of him. Cream is definitely going to be a good, uh, my dog Cream, she's definitely going to be a good uh, addition to the fam as soon as we get her bread, man. Hey, welcome to the fam. If you ain't hit the like button, man, go ahead and hit the like button for me. It really would help me out. Hit the subscribe button for me, man. And keep up to date. Hit the notification bell. that will send you all the updates on the videos, man. Well, Keep it on the bullies so y'all can see these bullies, man. That what we doing is really trying to really change the game and make it really healthy, athletic bullies is what I'm really trying to do. We don't have all them curled up legs and all that stuff. We still got the muscle and everything. It's still bully, but it's, it's more straight, man. It's structured. 
It's defined. Even on Roxy, I mean Black Widow, which is, she's only 13 inches tall. She still, I'm trying to get a good shot of her. She's only 13 inches tall, but she still got a good muzzle. And that's why I picked her is because she had a type of muzzle that I want. I, and if you look at his muzzle, see how long it is. That's what that's why hard cut bully uh how hard cut bullies, that's how come we are so healthy. That's how come we breathe better, that's how come they run around more, they got more athleticism to them because I made them sure they had a better muzzle. Every foundational bully that we have has got the pit bull terrier type face, not the not the bulldog type. And that's foundational to getting it going, but I mean, we retired from the ring after that, but as you can see, man, he's just a really a show dog, man. He's really a, a, a show dog. That's when you go to the litter, the pups should stand out like that. They should just be popping. They should be posing every time they stop. <laughs> show dog is going to show out. Now we can go over a few things. He does not have an underbite. He does not have an overbite. He does not have a roach back. He does not have a sway back. He does not have a gay tail. He does not have a half tail. He doesn't have a kink tail. He doesn't have stiff stifle. See those back legs, got angulation. He doesn't have stiff stifle. He doesn't have high rear. He doesn't have easty westy feet. His eyes are positioned in the right part of his head and they're the right color. They're not albino. Uh, he's, he doesn't have cow hawk on the back legs. All these flaws are eliminated. Then you have a show quality dog. His dad, Bo Jackson, is just as uh, awesome a dog. But he has cow hawk a little bit in the back. That's his problem for me. This is only flaw. But Creed, that's pretty flawless. That's what you're looking for as far as structure, man. I mean, you can't get much straighter than that. We ain't on no, we're we not, we not posing or nothing. I'm not stacking him off for y'all. He's stacking off on you. I'm a part of the natural. I started hard cut bully kennels. Let me put y'all on this blast. Hold up. Hard cut bully kennels started the natural bully stack off. Don't let nobody take that. I started the natural bully stack off. Well, we ain't posing. We just stacking. If you don't have that, you ain't really stacking. Send me a picture. Go to your, go to my website. You can upload pictures there. You can go to my Instagram, you can see these pictures. Send me a picture of the natural stack off, man. We're gonna really get a movement going here. Cause I wanna emphasize structure to the whole community, man. But we out of hard on the yard. I wanted to show y'all a good bully, man. I wanna show y'all a good standard American bully, what we look like, why I started this, what I'm thinking about. That's what you want. It's any of them just pose like that, man. I really want to find another female to breed them to, but right now, all the females on the camp that we have right now, all pretty much all the females are too close in kinship. I want to breed them to Cream, but that's his daughter. I want to bring him back to Black Widow, but she's a little too small for what I want to do. And she doesn't have any more. This is her last breeding. She is retired after this. Black Widow is on her fourth breeding. She will have pups in four weeks, here, about three weeks, really. Uh, Black Pearl. We bred her to Domino this time to see how it looked. Domino is his son, but he's a little bit smaller than him. So we want to see what that looks like. So I bred Domino to Black Pearl. 
like pearl loops do in less than two weeks we are at day 51 on black pearl you need to get on the puppy waiting list www.hardcutbully.com you need to go check that out get on the list if you ain't on the list yet uh, but we are about to get done uh, with that litters list we got more litters coming I'm thinking of, of breeding Jackie to hard cut drip and I'm thinking of breeding um, cream to hard cut drip Big Shirley's in heat right now too so we could do some more things but in order to do that, you need to be on the list. I'm not just breeding to be breeding. But we appreciate y'all hanging out with us, man. If you ain't did it by now, you need to hit that subscribe button. Follow button, man. Hit the notification bell. Keep you up to date with everything hard cut, man. It's for the big win, man. And get you something hard cut. It's on.